the University of Pennsylvania Common App Essays. Let's talk about them. Unless you're applying to specialized programs at Penn, including dual degrees, then you'll be writing three different essays of 150 to 200 words, each of which is discussed here. The first two are common across all undergraduate colleges, while the last will focus on your specific program of interest. Let's dive in. The first prompt is a bit interesting. You might not have written anything like this for a college essay before. At first glance, the prompt of writing a thank you note may seem a bit restrictive, but it's actually quite open-ended. Bear with me. Who you choose to write a letter to will affect the aspect of yourself that you show the admissions committee. For instance, if you want to go into an academic direction, sharing more about your prospective major, then you can choose to write a letter to the teacher of your favorite subject in high school. Or if you want to talk more about your extracurricular experience, you can write a letter to a classmate in a shared student organization. Whoever you choose, you can go into detail, citing specific experiences that you two may have been involved in, so that the admissions committee has a better understanding of what matters to you. But the essay doesn't have to focus on content alone. How you choose to write the letter, that is the language you use, can also showcase your personality here. For instance, if you're writing to a classmate or a friend in a student organization, don't be afraid to be a little fun in showing how you genuinely communicate with that person. Being genuine and authentic is the best way to make the essay memorable. The next prompt requires a community essay with Y school elements. We have to think of perspective in terms of a two-way street. How will your perspective enrich the Penn community, and how will the Penn community enrich you? That is, we must find the gaps between what your perspective is now and what Penn offers. As perspective is a very vague term, I'd recommend first thinking about community-based organizations and events you've been involved in, say at school, which you can find on your activity list, and then you can consider how that experience enriched your perspective. From there, we can find similar notions of community on the Penn website, where we can showcase the mutual learning that can occur between you and the university. Let's try an example. Say that you're interested in studying pre-medicine, and say that at school, you've been part of a service-oriented organization, like Key Club of Kiwanis International. There, you've had the chance to be involved in conducting fundraising for cancer research. Your perspective in this case could stem from the compassion you developed by interacting with individuals directly affected by the disease. Further, it can include any nuances that you've uncovered through your experience in high school, such as how cancer disproportionately affects people from certain communities. This is a great perspective to bring to Penn as you explore community as an aspiring change maker. This can be done by joining an analogous organization like Circle K and sharing your thoughts with peers. That leaves the question, what can Penn grant you in terms of perspective? Well, think about Penn's partnership with numerous medical institutions and service organizations throughout Philadelphia. By attending, you can enrich your perspective by serving a more diverse population and by developing technical skills that will allow you to generate impact in your desired area. You're going to have to do some research into the communities at and around Penn, but by doing so and connecting that to your work in your existing communities, you'll present to the admissions committee a compelling case on why you should be admitted. From here, we move on to college-specific prompts, which, although differing slightly depending on which program you're applying to, can follow a similar structure. Whether you're applying to the College of Arts and Sciences, the School of Engineering and Applied Science, the School of Nursing, or the Wharton School, we can do the following. First, hook the audience by explaining how you got into your academic interest or issue of focus. Then, elaborate on how you pursue that area inside and outside the classroom, whether in intense coursework or rigorous extracurricular experience. Afterwards, we have to think about what you wish to learn more about. That is, what questions do you currently have within your focus area? That's where the Why Pen content comes in. You can connect your curiosity to the specific resources offered by the university courses, clubs, professors, and so on. The things that can satiate that curiosity. Penn is especially renowned for its quality of teaching, so you should have plenty of content to share here. Spend some time on the Penn website really delving into the course catalog and professor profiles, and I guarantee you'll be impressed with the depth of information you find. And by the way, watch our school tour too. So those are the three essay prompts. You'll notice that there's a bit of balance to them. Prompt one is a bit more personal. Prompt two, more community-based and prompt three, academic. Think about that as you structure your writing. This way, you can ensure you're being complimentary and not redundant in how you present yourself from these three aspects. Do that, and you'll have written a compelling set of three essays. You got this.